Uh, Samhain. Samhain. Halloween. Dia the Dead. Dia de los Muertos. October 31st was upon us once again. Since I was a small child, I had always been amazed and amused and intrigued, fascinated by the strange and the macabre and the otherworldly, the unusual. And likewise, Halloween was one of my favorite holidays, if not my favorite holiday. The fall season, the pumpkins, the crazy costumes, the movies, just the general autumn season, the autumn air, the cooling of the season, the changing of the tide, so to speak. I loved all of it. The darkness, the mystery, the the eeriness. I liked all of it. The day started like anything else. I got up, I got ready, I had breakfast, went got showered, went to work, my business. Went back home and carved the jack lantern. I dressed up in my Michael Myers outfit and proceeded to go set on my front stoop and hand candy out to children. Didn't see the first kid until about 6.30, 6.45. A little tight dressed up in a ghost outfit next to his mother and father who weren't dressed. Had an assortment of all kinds of candies, Hershey's, Reese's, Almond Joys, Kit Kats, all kinds of chocolate-covered goodies for the kitties. Next up was a little guy in a Yauja outfit, a Predator outfit. It kind of took me by surprise. I was like, well, buddy, you got a <laughs> you got a guy going on there, don't you? He giggled and nodded. I gave him a couple Kit Kats, and he went about his way. Then there's a part of team Decent little party of teenage, teenagers, a mixture of boys and girls, about 12, 13 years old. Just an assortment of things. The One was a princess, one was the, the ghost face killer from Scream, the other was a caveman. And <laughs> one was even dressed up like my uncle Michael Myers, like me. We acknowledged each other and I gave them their candy and they went off about their way. The cycle repeated on and off for the next two, two and a half hours or so. It started to get later in the night and things began to slow down as far as trigger treating goes. Around 9.30 or so I packed it up, blew out the jack-o'-lantern and headed back inside. I turned on AMC and Fear Fest was on. Halloween 2 was actually playing, so I left it on in the background. I changed on my costume and slipped on something a little more <laughs> presentable, I guess. Washed up and went ahead and went, went to my favorite neighborhood bar. This is a week night and None of the clubs were throwing anything on the 31st, so went ahead and went, went out to the next best thing. It's a little nice little dive bar, a little classier than what you would expect from a dive bar, but kind of a bit of a hidden gem in the neighborhood. I went to the bar, and there were several people inside, some in costumes and some in darker clothes. And it was Halloween after all. I didn't think anything of it. I went up to the bartender, Casey. Asked him for a Sam Adams Oktoberfest, and he nodded and smiled and agreed. I sat there enjoying my drink. The guy next to me, who was dressed in a sorcerer's cloak, started talking to me. The uh, original Wolfman was playing on the TV in the background, and he and I were discussing that. Talking about the old lost period, a time period of the uh, 1940s in the classic Universal Monster films. 
We talked for several minutes until suddenly the lights went out. It's completely dark in the place. Confused sounds and gasps and shock silence. Kiss, is this some goddamn prank? Someone called out. No. Casey, what the hell is going on? The lights turned back on, as well as the television. That was weird, I thought to myself. Looked at Casey, he looked at me. Power surge? Must be. He answered. I continued with my drink and started and continued to speak with the guy in the sorcerer's cloak next to me. So, uh, is anything interesting this Halloween? He asked. Mm. No, not really, just a bunch of trick or treaters. Nothing, uh, otherworldly, paranormal. He said with a slight giggle. <laughs> no, luckily, no. No, nothing like that. Nothing crazy. Although I have seen and dealt with paranormal things before, but usually I don't really see anything on Halloween relating to that. Really? Huh. It's usually when it's most active. He said. Yeah, I know. Uh, apparently, well, supposedly that's when the veil between the uh, spirit world and the earth is the most thin, but usually I don't see much of that, that much on Halloween. I mean, on, on occasion, very rarely I'll see orbs, but that's about it. He smiled. Ah, so you have seen stuff on Halloween before. He smiled. <laughs> yeah, I guess, but nothing this year, so far at least. The lights cut out again. It only lasted a split second, then it came back on. Man, what is up with these power power surges? Casey shrugged his shoulders and shook his head. No idea. I have to call FPL in the morning and see what the hell is going on. Call the power company. The lights, lights cut out again. This time there was struggling all around. Actual struggling. Hisses and cries and growls and... I couldn't tell what was going on. I reached for my cell phone and... Attempted to open it back up and... Put the flash on light up back on, but... The lights cut back on and... I couldn't believe what I was seeing. The macabre side of... Everyone else in the bar was dead. The throats had been ripped open and blood was spewing out all over the place. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I just... Damn it, Casey was down too. My, my mind's racing. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to think. I don't know what's, what's going on with the... I immediately tried to call the police. I immediately tried to call 911, but... No signal. I look around in a panic. I look over the bar and... Nobody, I... I get out of my stool, I go to the bathroom, I look out, look inside, there's no one there, there's... I hurry to the front door, open the door, there's no one there, there's still cars going by, but there's... I get in my car and I go to the police station, but there's... 
There's nobody there. I try waving someone down, but it's like no one sees me. What the hell's going on? Still no signal. I, I, try, I go drive back to my house and I storm in. I go to my computer and I try e to email the police, the, the, the county sheriff's office, the state troopers, anybody. Every, anybody. My computer is frozen and it won't do anything. I see something from outside of my window through the blinds. Things. These bat things. It's a cross between a human and a bat. They're these monsters that all of them around six to seven feet tall, and they're just getting to circle around my house. I grab my flashlight and I shine the light towards them, and all of them had blood dripping from their mouths. All the bat creatures had blood dripping from their mouths. From her teeth or pointed fangs. I didn't know what to do. I just went back inside, locked the door. Suddenly I began to hear the door knob rattling back and forth violently. I hear the shriek from outside. I hear the I hear the beating of wings against the air, massive wings. A sudden crash against the roof of my house. Pastors are trying to break in through the roof. I thought to myself, went to my bedroom. Went to my gun safe, busted out the 12 gauge, and I, I prepared for the worst. Loaded up with shells, and I ready to myself. Begin to hear screeching, howling from outside. I hear the beating of the wings against the air. I open my door and I look outside. giant bats the bat things that are they're flying away at the edge of my driveway I notice this figure dressed in a black cloak it's a woman turns to face me and she's dressed in leather black leather boots black leather bikini top black leather bottom piece open stomach Wearing a black sun pendant with a necklace. 
her open cloak exposing her front. Long, beautiful blonde hair, gorgeous blue eyes. Electricity flowed from her fingertips. She smiled at me and winked. She turned her attention to the bats. And in an instant, she incinerated all of them with her lightning. I turned to her and kind of chuckled and smiled a little bit in wonderment. Then a massive hand grabbed her from behind, attempting to choke her. A gigantic wolf beast. A wolf monster. A, a damn werewolf. The beast choked her. She shocked the beast with her left hand. Then, free once again, she used both hands to subdue the monstrosity with the lightning. The beast left and skedaddled. She then approached me, and I began to approach her. She winked at me once more and kissed me. She then proceeded to back away and she vanished out of thin air, into thin air. <sighs> I went back to my stoop and sat to myself. Admiring the autumn evening, the autumn night. <sighs> wow, I said to myself. The hell was that? I wondered for the rest of the evening. So I finally went inside and laid down for the night. Dreaming of the one who took flight.